If you're looking to learn a really cool yet really easy and simple cardistry move, then you've come to the right spot. Today we're looking at this weird riffle cascade type thing. It looks pretty cool and I really love to do it. And so we're going to be learning it today. It won't be a super long tutorial. It's not a complicated move as I said before. So let's just get right into it. So this is the move. It's really fun. It's a nice little fidget move. It looks cool and uh, yeah, as I said before, it's super easy to do. All you really need to know how to do is the uh, this riffle. You just need to know how to riffle cards smoothly. So you want to hold the deck like this. Your ring finger will be here on this edge and your thumb will be on the opposite edge here. You want this more on the corner though. And then your middle will come down here and then your index will come right over here. So you're in this weird funky grip. And from here, all you really got to do is riffle. You have to push with your index just a little bit so you can apply the pressure that your thumb needs to riffle off these cards. That's all you're doing. And then from there, the cards fall and it looks really nice. The harder you riffle, the smoother that the cards will fall. You can do this without riffling, just like this. That's no riffling at all. I personally just think it looks better and smoother and uh, yeah, it looks like a longer uh, cascade for a longer amount of time if you riffle. I know I'm like leaning this way, but it does look better if you um, point it this direction to the camera. Again, kind of like a parallel. You don't want to do it direct on or you're not going to see anything. And then when you catch it, you just kind of want to aim it into right on your middle and ring and then in between your index and pinky. And when you start it, you don't want to start here because it will look a lot smoother if you start at the bottom here and then go up and come back. So I'll usually do that. So we start here, you go up, start riffling, and then bring it back down. Just looks a lot cleaner. And I'll always tilt my hand a little bit like this, just in this direction, you know, so that it can fall off easier. And yeah, it just, it feels good, it looks nice. And those are just the little tips. So this is a super long tutorial. Again, this is really easy. The only difficult part is kind of getting in this grip every time. It's, it's, it's a little weird, but I kind of feel like it's pretty natural. Um, if I'm gonna go into a cut and then I come back, right? I'm, I'm very close to what I would do to get into a Z grip. I just regrip a little bit and go up and we're there. So it's, it's really, really easy to get into. Oh, I forgot to mention I'm using the Orbit Tally Hose deck. If you guys want to grab this deck, it's pretty awesome. Um, not sponsored, by the way, but it's, it's just a really cool deck. I'll link it down below. So yeah, that is the Riffle Cascade, I guess we're calling it, tutorial. Um, you'll see me do it in a lot of my videos because, again, it's a fidget move I've just done for a while now, and I really like to do it, and it feels comfy. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking to the end of the video and the tutorial. If you liked it, let me know. Leave a comment down below and a like. If you're new here and want to subscribe to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. And for those that don't know, I am currently doing a giveaway. My last video explains it. I'll be sure to link it down below. Go ahead and check it out and see how you can enter in to win two decks of playing cards. Anyway guys, that's the video. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.